My name is Rachel. I'm a physical therapist at the Rebuilding in Salem, Oregon. And at this facility, we really work to bridge that gap between rehab and performance and getting athletes safely back onto the field and performing at a high level. Um, and one of the tools that we use to do that is the 1080 sprint. We use the, the hop testing um, as we're getting athletes ready to return to sport, um, especially I would say with a lot of my ACL athletes that had ACL reconstructions. and. That's been really beneficial because we know that um, athletes are able to compensate and I think that's one way the 1080 really helps. We can look at power production and are you as powerful on your right leg as you are your left? Just because you can hop the same distance doesn't mean that you're doing it the same on, on, on each leg. Um, especially if they're here for you know months at a time from a bigger surgery, it helps to be able to, to quantify and, and show them that there are these new goals that we can achieve. Even though, even though we've been doing similar things for, for a while, there's still room for improvement. There's, there's still new heights that they, that they can hit. And the 1080 allows us to give them that information and, and show them what's possible. Having them push off or plant with their affected side versus their unaffected side and looking at power um, production and the time that it takes for them to change direction. I think that's where the 1080 has been really helpful where if you're just doing that test, you can time them and see how long it takes and get a good number, but how effectively are they moving and um, how quickly are they moving on one side versus the other. And then using the equation that the 1080 will give us, we can find where it's most optimal for them to train for power. And so after doing these resistance sprints for every individual person, we can then calculate what kind of resistance we need them running against and train them at that resistance that's going to be optimal for their, for their power production speed. The 1080 allows, allows us to load and overload an athlete so that we're, we're giving them um, kind of that stimulus that they're going to experience in a game type environment. And I think um, that one helps us get them ready, but two, I think that's a huge mental boost for them as well. Once we're able to do that, it really kind of opened the door as to, okay, this machine isn't only for people who are running, jumping, and sprinting. This machine can be for people who are swimming, who are throwing, who are throwing a football, um, throwing a baseball, throwing a javelin, all these different type of things because of the uniqueness that, that the 1080 provides. We want data. We want to be able to objectively measure and say, you know, we're not quite ready, but here's the goal. And this is what we're, what we're looking for. And we're going to get you there. And this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to challenge you. And then we're going to keep measuring this until we get to that goal.